Hello and welcome to the Mayor Manager Show. I'm Mayor Wes Brenniger. Alongside is uh, our town manager, Mr. Ryan Wilmoth. Ryan, uh, great to have you back. Uh, he's doing some work and we'll mention what you was doing here shortly, but uh, welcome back to the Mayor Manager Show. Thanks, Mayor. It's uh, always good to be here and uh, get our face out to the, to the good folks uh, of Sparta. And I apologize for missing you last time, but uh, thanks for having me back. We had Daniel Roten on with us last time, and Daniel really done a great job of explaining some stuff, which we're going to go in depth a little bit more to. Sure. Uh, you have some more updated information on that about the earthquake assistance that is here in the county, up here at the BDC, and we'll be talking about that here very shortly. We we have a, just a little few things to go over here, and one of the things that I would uh, will start off with is we had a veterans ceremony out at the fairgrounds on uh, for Veterans Day. Uh, the local VFW uh, 7034, led by Gary Adkins, the commander, uh, put on a nice uh, afternoon there. It was it rained the entire time, of course, and that's 2020 for us and COVID. It rained, all, but uh, they they went and done what they needed to do. Had a 21 gun salute and a presentation there, and some good speakers and some young ladies that made some great speeches there. I encourage you to look it up on actv.me. You can go on there and look and uh, watch those programs, uh, or you can go to my Facebook page there on Facebook and you can see the, uh, the link that I put on there. But our veterans are a very important part of our community and we appreciate each and every one of them. Without them, we aren't able to do what we do in our country. And we want to say thank you very, very much to all of our veterans across the county. Certainly, and a great opportunity to recognize those individuals that uh, have have served uh, selflessly, given to uh, to this great nation, our community, and uh, uh, a tremendous uh, thank you uh, to those individuals as well as those uh, that that may not be veterans right. but serve our community, fire department, Absolutely. EMS, uh, law enforcement. Uh, that group uh, is the backbone of uh, our town, our community, and our nation. So thank you. Yep. And earlier in the month, we had a special night that the Lions Club, uh, Bobby Raglan and uh, Ken Brady put together there from the Lions Club, a, a special appreci uh, appreciation for all of our first responders. And I thought that went pretty good, too. And Absolutely. Good turnout. Uh, and, and I know uh, coming from that background, it's always uh, much appreciated to, to have a, a little show of appreciation. Yeah. Sometimes those are thankless jobs, but... Uh, it's always great to recognize those individuals as well. So we give a shout out to all of our volunteer firemen, rescue personnel, police departments, all of you fine folks out there that make a difference in our community. And that's what makes the difference in our community. Uh, Ryan, I want to go ahead and start talking about the state earthquake assistance funding that we have here in the county. We have some individuals here from Raleigh that have set up an office in the BDC and are available to the public now, the, those that were affected by the earthquake, to start receiving some assistance. Yes, and uh, Mayor, what a team. I know you were able to uh, meet with them uh, a couple times. They also joined us at the, uh, the meeting. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't ask for a better group of individuals uh, to coordinate that, that uh, recovery effort for our community. Uh, they are uh, in county. Their boots on the ground. Uh, they're up here most Monday through Fridays. Uh, they're still working to, to get some administrative folks uh, on board full time. So they do have some, some hours of operation uh, that currently aren't covered, but they're working uh, to achieve a Monday through Friday here at the BDC. Uh, but there are um, active investigations going on in, into the, the damage that our citizens received. Uh, if you notice anything, haven't been contacted uh, by those individuals or, or made a report uh, to that, that organization or emergency management through right. the county, uh, please do that. They are uh, very much uh, waiting and willing to assist. Uh, they've already infused some money uh, to those individuals affected. Uh, repair work is going on, um, and, and they're here to assist, mm -hmm. 
you just got to make that connection with them. So we look forward to working with uh, Rich and Dana and Nails and Derwin. Those guys right there are the ones that uh, are up here right now and doing a fine job for us. We also still have the earthquake fund that was set up here by some local individuals, the Sparta Allegheny Earthquake Relief Fund, uh, which now, right now stands at having, uh, after a generous donation yesterday by Life Store of $2,500, the earthquake fund now stands at $23,000 and some wow. change uh, in the funding. You, the folks that are, have been affected by the earthquake, we encourage you and, and just reach out to you. Go by Daniel Roten at the Allegheny Emergency Management Office in the county building, or you can come by the Sparta Town Hall drive through and request a form to help you with some with some things out there. It will help you with everything but construction costs. That's what the money from the state is there correct, for. Correct. But the earthquake fund can help you with your sewer, your water bills, uh, rental uh, bills if you need help there. Uh, whatever is the need, uh, come and at least try to fill the form out. Get it in there. Get it to Daniel Roten because the board will go off his recommendations. And we encourage you to, to come out and use these fundings. And, Again, I, I just want to say how much it is of a, our community. What an effort. Unprecedented effort in unprecedented times. And that is what our community is about. Absolutely. And uh, thank you for, for the update on the, the uh, fund that you, you helped set up. That is, uh, that's a tremendous show of compassion and, and dedication to, to our community. Um, just to go back to, to the, uh, the state budget mm -hmm. management folks, uh, there is a, a very short application process. Yeah. Uh, you have to get that completed to, to get that assistance rolling. Uh, so I can't stress enough, those individuals are here. They're willing to help. They want to help. Uh, they're working daily with, with my office. I know you yep. have given some input. Uh, but they want to make that contact if you have a need. So make sure you reach out. Absolutely, and and again, they are going to be here for the long haul, and they they specifically told us anywhere from eighteen months to three years uh, would be the the length that they'll be here, and they'll be here until everything is complete, and that's very very uh, impressive by their departments. Uh, in our meeting the other night, we had a Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services funding opportunity. I'm going to let you talk to sure. the people a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so uh, the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and uh, Consumer Services received some of that federal uh, coronavirus funding that was released. Uh, they established a grant uh, program to assist uh, farmers markets and local food banks uh, to adjust to the, the COVID uh, pandemic so that there's still access to the farmer's market and the, uh, the food hubs. We were able to secure $3,000 uh, to go toward improvements at the farmer's market um, through uh, renovations out there to make it uh, a little easier and safer for folks to come in. Uh, as well as a, a better online process for, for that uh, food request and distribution. Uh, our local foods coordinator, Jill Cockrum, will actually be managing that, that fund for us. Uh, but we're excited about the opportunity to, to make that farmer uh, market improvement and provide a better service locally. Uh, that farmer's market is really growing here in the last couple of years and continues to grow each and every year, and it's a good thing that we have that in our community. Absolutely. And staying right there pretty close to the to the farmer's market, we, we want you to know that we would have something new in the Krause Park over yes. there. And, and, Ryan, I want you to elaborate on something that you had a big hand in doing. Yes, uh, very busy times uh, uh, throughout the town, but... Uh, uh, Last year, uh, the town was able to secure a, a Parks and Recs Trust Fund grant, um, uh, grant funding in the, uh, in the north of 194000 for improvements to the Krause Park. Uh, phase one uh, has kind of been uh, completed as of today. Uh, there is some new playground equipment out there if you ride by there you will notice that it looks uh, immensely different. Yep. And we are so very proud of that equipment uh, and the, the company that, that 
installed that for us. They did a fantastic job. Um, as part of the, the playground equipment installation, we're actually going to be putting a, a safer uh, fall zone material instead of the sand. So uh, what you see is not the final product. We will be uh, putting in about nine inches of mulch throughout uh, the playground area and some uh, barriers around that mulch area to help keep it in place and provide our kids a safe area uh, to, to enjoy some recreation. So lots more to come out of the park, uh, yep. some restroom facilities, some other improvements that will be coming down the line. Uh, I'm just excited about it. I know that the, uh, once the kids start getting over there and, and we get past this COVID stuff and we get all these regulations back and we start getting back to getting healthy again in our country as we come back together and we're trying to come back together again, that our kids are really going to have something nice to play over there with. And it's, it's just much needed upgrade and, and thank, thanks to everyone that had their hand in it from, from the get-go and uh, just tremendous. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of events coming up here, and you're going to be a part of one of them, and that's the, the lighting event uh, of Christmas lights. And, and yes. again, it's over in Kraus Park this year. We're going to have it over there. Yes. Uh, and you're going to be the uh, main attraction, so to speak. That That's what uh, Sparta Lights and Entertainment and that group uh, kind of wrote me into. Uh, but very thankful for that group uh, from, from years past from what I've heard. They do a great job at lighting the town up. Uh, they're gonna have some Carolyn in the park, some hot chocolate. Uh, obviously, we're gonna be taking precautions to, yes. to socially distance and keep everyone as safe as possible. But uh, at 6 p.m., uh, I'm slated to, to throw the switch mm -hmm. on lighting the town up, and we are uh, looking forward to that. Uh, that's the best way we can break our new town manager in, and. Here we are in the holidays and everything, and we have a parade slated for that day also yes. uh, at 2 o'clock. Not a normal type parade. Uh, the parade itself will be floats and whatever else lined up in the Trojan Village parking lot down there and uh, the shopping center down there, so to speak, and up up along the, the road there, I guess, up there at the... Uh, uh, old shoe factory up in there yes. so uh, it'll be like a drive-through parade is basically what it is and uh, we encourage everybody that way you can come out and you can sit in your car and you can drive and you get to drive and look at all the floats and stuff yes. so we ask everybody to come on out and come out early to register if you want to come out and be in the float contest and whatnot and and uh, they'll put you in your right place and just something to do and try to trying to get through this COVID stuff to where we we can still do something of some kind. Absolutely, and that was the goal. Uh, and thanks to uh, all the individuals that had a plan and uh, trying to find a, a unique uh, way to, to still enjoy uh, some of those traditional holiday uh, festivities. So thanks to them for, for getting outside the box, but also uh, trying to keep people safe. We do encourage anyone that wants to uh, participate in the parade to please sign up. Uh, it's been some low volume of, of interest, so we really want to promote uh, let's get out there and, and give our, our town and community something to enjoy. Just come on out and uh, again, you deem what it, take every precaution that you deem necessary for, for your safety. Uh, so we don't want to invite anybody out to, to cause havoc or anything like that or cause a disturbance. You do whatever you deem necessary to for your protection. Um, you know, there's a thing that I battle with all the time, and I'm just going to hit on this just for a minute because it, here we are at the holidays and, and uh, Thanksgiving rolling around, Christmas will be coming up next month, uh, and we have a lot of stuff. A lot of people are out there on the Internet, and they follow social media, and they follow these uh, people that have uh, pages, uh, and I'm not going to mention names or nothing like that, but it, it, these are opinion pages, folks, and people that just – put Sparta's name or they put Allegheny's name in the title does not mean that the town of Sparta or the county of Allegheny sanctions or sponsors that page or has anything to do with it. Uh, the negativities that are coming off of that, I have to answer to people every single day, as, as do you. Uh, and again, I just want to reiterate, these are opinions, uh, folks, and you have the right to follow that opinion if you want to. But if you want the precise, 
official information. Please go to the websites. Please go to the administrators. Please go to the town manager, the county manager, uh, or wherever you're at for the official words on what is going on and what is really happening in Sparta and Allegheny. That's, that's the thing. Certainly, um, and we're always open uh, to receiving phone calls, answering those questions of concern or, or complaint or, or issue. Uh, I feel that part of my, my job is to answer those questions, and I am here uh, to provide any information I can. Absolutely, and, and for, for the three years that I have been mayor here, I think I have tried to answer everybody's question that has ever been posed to me in some kind of capacity or another. Uh, and I will continue to do that. I believe that information is key to everything, but uh, getting the right information is the key to success. And that's what we encourage you. If you don't know, you can always go back and you can watch town meetings, you can watch county meetings on ACTV. Charlie Scott and his crew, uh, uh, you know, the, his fine crew that he has, they're the ones that film these things, film all these meetings and stuff, and they put them right there on the websites. Uh, and a lot of us share these things out there on YouTubes and whatever. But I encourage you, before you jump the gun, maybe you might want to go watch the meeting, sit there and watch it for a little while, see what you see, and take it for yourself. And just don't take someone else's opinion for it, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, this is the season to give thanks. Uh, we have many, many thanks, thankful things to be thankful for. One of the things I'm thankful for is our new town manager, who has done an absolute fabulous job since – coming in there in July. And uh, Ryan, I want to commend you. Uh, you took the initiative. We've had two parking lots that's been redone since you uh, have been here and you took the initiative to get those cleaned up on your own. And, and the guy's really done a great job from the Sparta Town maintenance crew with that. I believe you guys deserve a lot of kudos and thank you for what you have brought to our town and continue to do for our town. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I can't, can't say thank you enough for that and the opportunity to serve as town manager, uh, but even more so the great team uh, that we have at, at the town. Uh, those maintenance guys, they work hard uh, every day to make the town the best it can be. Uh, and, and the ladies up front work hard to make sure customers are taken care of, uh, the bills are paid, the lights are on. Uh, what a fabulous team I have. Absolutely, and I'll, I'll echo that. Our gals that runs the front windows up there, Peggy, Joe, and, and Kathy, and now uh, we've added uh, Megan to the, yeah. to the calls there. Our maintenance guys, uh, Ronnie and Tyson and Wesley and Dusty, uh, Bobby Shaw uh, down at the sewer who keeps yeah. things flowing down there at the sewer. Very important to our, our staff. Kevin Dow also yes. in there. So, and our police department here in the town of Sparta, uh, I want to commend every single one of you. I appreciate your service to our town, our, your dedication to making the citizens uh, have as least worry as they possibly can and know that they can have the faith and the trust to call upon us and we will take care of the problems at hand. And you will always have that as long as I am the mayor in Sparta. You can call at any time, and we will make sure that we take care of the problems of myself and my, our town manager, Ryan Wilmoth, and our town council, which has done a great job. Commend, commend them. Uh, those guys have really stepped up to the plate here in the last year or so and really uh, have run with the ball, and, and we've got some stuff going. The streetscape is uh, complete, and we've got some other projects that's going on too, Ryan, and I'm just very, very thankful. Uh, we'll end with this right here, and I'm just going to throw this out there to you folks. I want you to be thankful too. This is a time that uh, we have to be thankful for our family, our friends, colleagues, uh, past workers, or whatever, you know, whoever you've been with over the years. Uh, you reflect back and have memories of certain ones, and uh, everybody goes their different ways. But be thankful for where you are, who you're around, what you have. Uh, this is the, still the greatest country in the world. We are America. We are Americans. And, and we will always uh, come together when that time of need. So I encourage you this Thanksgiving to take time out and give the good Lord his due thanks for what he's blessed you with in your life. For Ryan Wilmoth and the rest of my crew at the town of Sparta and the staff, we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next month here in December for the Mayor Manager Show here on ACTV. Thank you.